Greetings all, Fanny here for Aquarius's weekend message. Okay, that's a big old chunk of something. And we had a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. It's interesting. I feel like someone is moving out of a divine feminine energy into a divine masculine energy, meaning that they're taking more of an authoritative role in their life. Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. And surrender to the divine. Full moon. Wow. That's crazy. To see four new moons paired with a full moon on a full moon. So, ever, some people will say that you can't do a releasing spell or a releasing energy during full moon energy because it's more abundant, manifestative, um, it's more of, yeah, more of something to, re to receive, but it literally says a time to give rather than take, and then being paired with surrender to the divine. You are being asked to give everything right now your fears, your anxieties to spirit. Give your all to your dreams. Take action on what you wanted to move forward on because it is happening for all of us now. And those of us who take up our courage, who be, who become that brave, who aren't afraid to surrender and look back upon our weaknesses, to look back at maybe where we failed, you learned something. You challenged yourself. You did not fail. You did not fail even though you did not succeed. You did not fail because you challenged yourself because you learned something and I know how difficult that is to say sometimes I am a triple earth Sun Moon rising Taurus Virgo Capricorn I am the biggest bully to myself especially when it comes to my work I will not allow myself to feel gratitude or grace or like I accomplish anything until the thing is done I do not enjoy the journey most of the time because I am so focused on getting to the actual place and this is something that I am actively working on and I do not want you to ruin the joy of you discovering who you are because you're so focused on getting to where you're going because you are a developing masterpiece my love be open to receiving with great ease it is easy for me to receive it is easy for me to receive it is easy for me to receive and that receipt, that receptivity can only occur when you have released, when you have given, because this vessel is a finite shell. It can only hold so much of ourselves, of our lives, of our energy before it starts to spill over. And that's when we get combustive. That's when we get angry or ex like extremely happy and extroverted. It has to come out in some way, and when we do not give it a conscious channel to be released, it comes out when enough pressure is applied and we do not stand in our integrity, acting heavily out of emotions. The inner child is what needs to be healed right now, Aquarius. Your inner child is literally who you were as a child when you were hurt, when something occurred, when you were... I. I hate using this word in, in reference to people, but that's what it's giving me. It's like when you were damaged. Allow me to give compassion to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. And be willing to receive it. Because so many of us do not accept help when it tries to come to us. Let me be open to courageously take the steps to be, that are being shown. What was I saying about courage, my love? What was I saying about being brave enough to actually make the changes? That's what Spirit is asking you to do. Take action. Your hard work is paying off, but you still must work through your fears. So surrender that fear. Surrender that anxiety. If you look back on the memory of the source of trauma, surrender that because it is no longer in alignment with who you are. 
That is not who you are. You were not the person that was hurt in that situation. You are so much more. You don't have to be attached to that pain. You don't have to be attached to that ego. And you certainly don't have to be attached to the reactions of that ego. Because so many of us that have been hurt or damaged in some way like that, again, I hate using that word, because it makes you sound like a product and you're not a product, you're, you're a treasure. <clears throat> but those of us who have been hurt, we become very reactionary, either protective and secluding ourselves or pushing back so nothing can hurt us, so people are afraid to hurt us. And both of these things create walls around the heart. And that is the, why the grief card has come out for you because those walls are slowly starting to melt away. And as you give love to that inner child, you become more receptive to love yourself. If, for example, if things like intimate relationships have always been very scary for you, like you've never had good relationships or they've all been very physical because the idea of trusting someone is too scary. I understand that very well, my love. I face it myself. And it is something that I am actively healing from because it make, puts us in a place where we are not willing to accept the love someone is trying to offer us because we feel like we do not deserve it. And I am going to be the first one to tell you, if no one else has, that you absolutely deserve love happiness, success, and peace, whatever that means for you. Because of course, it means something different for you. You are not me. So our ideas of what love, happiness, peace, and acceptance look like is not the same. Not all of us want a homestead in the mountain with goats as lawnmowers, a tiny house that is ready to get on the road and travel wherever you want, but also a beautiful garden so that I know everything that I'm eating is clean and good. People have a very different idea of what happiness and love looks like. But for me, that's a pretty close idea. I feel like you are facing many, many challenges right now. And a lot of them are going to be changing how you're seeing the world. Allow this to shift. Allow your perspective to shift because you are actively changing so much right now, my love. You don't have to hold on to anything that you no longer resonate with. You can expand beyond something so much more than anything your self-limiting mind has ever thought before. Have a beautiful day, my love.